after school activities will be a go again today? Yeah, they will be a go and it won't be quite as chilly as you're waiting or sitting at the ball field. Uh, looking at our conditions outside right now, we've had a deck of clouds moving overhead. Those are dropping down from northeast to southwest. So starting to see some clearing in the cloud cover north of Boston, and that's going to work its way southward as the morning goes on. We'll see intervals of clouds and sunshine today, much like what has been the theme of the weather these last few days and mainly dry conditions too. No above average temperatures here in my seven day future cast. A cool stretch continues with temperatures today, though not quite as chilly as Monday and Tuesday. Instead of topping out in the 50s, we'll make it to 60 degrees in most inland spots, even low 60s for a few of us. Weekend storm. Well, not good news for Mother's Day weekend. We've got rain and wind that will be moving in by late in the afternoon on Saturday and continuing through much of Sunday. Then I'm seeing signs of a pattern change and it's a process getting there, but the middle and end of next week looking like we'll be breaking out of this cool and unsettled stretch and giving way to maybe a warmer and drier pattern. Looking at our temperatures right now, mid and upper 40s. If you're walking out the door in Providence, still wanting that jacket, Newport as well as Westerly, New Bedford at 47. And again, Again, more clouds around this morning. Those won't last all day. We'll see intervals of clouds and sunshine. Narragansett right now and see the cool air over the northeastern United States. The warmth still suppressed to our south and west as we have this upper level low pressure center continuing to influence our weather. And so again, below normal temperatures for us here in the northeast. Low pressure sitting up across uh, southeastern Canada right now going to continue to spin in some clouds and an occasional shower. You can see some activity up into Maine right now. Our computer model brings some of that southward. There's breaks in the cloud cover in between these two pieces of clouds and so our future cast does show here as we head into the afternoon a mix of clouds and sun. The shower threat a little greater today towards the evening hours. You can see some showers breaking out across coast coastal Maine by late afternoon and then maybe a few across the North Shore of Boston and trying to move through eastern Massachusetts later this evening. And then tonight and tomorrow, a little more of the same clouds, a little bit of sunshine, risk of a shower tomorrow afternoon and cooler than normal temperatures. But today by lunchtime, by 1230, we should be 12, 1230 up to where our high temperatures were both Monday and Tuesday, about 56 degrees at noon. And then afternoon temperatures into the lower 60s, Providence around 60 degrees, Smithfield cooler at the coastline where winds turn to the southwest 11 o'clock tonight. We're starting to see those temperatures falling into the 40s. Here's our setup for the weekend, a potential for a storm system that brings both both heavy rain and some gusty winds. The heaviest of it looks right now timing wise to be Saturday night into Sunday morning, and that's where it'd be widespread rainfall as that low pressure starts to lift north and east during the Sunday afternoon and evening time frame. The rain will start to shut off a bit. We'll still keep some lingering showers for the end of Sunday and on Monday. Looking at our temperatures here next seven days again running generally cooler than normal upper 50s to low 60s today, tomorrow and Friday with that spot shower or sprinkle rain chances going up by the end end of Saturday and Sunday looking cool for Mother's Day and rainy Monday lingering showers. But Tuesday, Wednesday again starting to get closer to those normal highs, upper 60s and warming up beyond that full future cast always online 